Well, hello there, my name is HW, and thank you so much for watching Tone Junkie TV. Uh, this is Quad Cortex 101. In this video, we are gonna discuss uh, the Quad Cortex, how to use it, sort of the basic UI, how to navigate around, uh, how to get into some of the different modes, and how to build uh, a pretty simple uh, sort of rig so you can get started, how to add effects. Uh, we're gonna do some stuff with captures. I'm gonna show you like dual amps, um, how to set your inputs and outputs, and just basically how to get this thing um, sounding really good. Um, I, this is a perfect video to watch um, if you just got your Quad Cortex uh, or if you are interested in just sort of understanding how the UI works um, on this unit. Uh, thank you so much to Doug and the team for uh, at Neural for sending me this. Um, I got this a couple weeks ago and I've been able to check it out. Uh, they were nice enough to send me um, a unit prior to release. And um, I, I really like the capture tech on this thing. I think the UI is really strong. Um, I really like it, the touch screen is responsive, um, and I'm really excited to see what they do with effects and further fleshing out um, you know, some of the effects options and stuff. Um, so let's jump right in. Uh, here is how you quad cortex. All right, so as the quad cortex boots up, uh, you get this big neural logo, lights come on, and then boom, we're into whatever the last preset we were working on was. And so for me, that's TJ T-Rec Cleanish. Um, this is a free preset that you can uh, you can go download this. Uh, just follow Tone Junkie on the Quad Cortex app. But it's a train wreck Liverpool. It's kind of a cleanish sound. I've got a little clon on here, and it sounds like this. <laughs> It's sort of clean-ish, you get it? It's not really clean, it's clean-ish. With a Strat, it's clean-ish. If you get a Les Paul or P90 or something, it's gonna be a little more than clean-ish. It's gonna be a little dirty-ish. Okay, this is already done right here, so let's get into a brand new preset, because you probably wanna build a brand new preset, right? So to get sort of out of this preset view, all we're gonna do is hit the button, uh, or hit the name up here and um, use that touch screen, it's very responsive. Um, it, this is the directory, you get all sorts of cool stuff. You got a favorites list, a recent list. Um, you can check out all your own captures or captures you've downloaded um, that are on here. Uh, cl there's cloud directories. Um, anyway, shared with me, here's stuff that people send. Uh, my buddy Chris sent me some stuff. Um, but anyway, let's get back here and let's go to my presets and we'll just get a blank one. This is what a lot of people are gonna see. Now. It's important, first things first, I might not be getting any sound out of this or it's just direct sound. Yeah, it's just the direct sound because I've got nothing in there. But first things first, make sure your outs and ins are lined up with where you're plugged in. You can plug in and go out of all sorts of places. I'm going out of one and two. So to set that, I just have to hit there, uh, the end of my signal chain and uh, I can select if I want to go mono, if I want to go out via USB or whatever. I'm going out the regular XLRs marked one and two on the back, so that's what I set. For in, I'm plugged into input number one. Just make sure the in and the out match what you've done in real life, and that's how you're gonna get sound out. Um, for this demo, um, I'm gonna, let's start with a capture, and then um, I'm gonna go ahead and we'll add a second amp in a couple minutes, and um, we'll add a second amp, and that'll help us kind of, uh, That'll help us do stereo amps, because that's ultimately what we want to do. I think we want to build a simple thing and then stereo amps. So all I'm doing is I'm, I just touch the little graphic and you kind of get um, what you're looking for. Um, if you want to change the device, you just hit it, you, get, you, you hit the little, um, you know, whichever block you're trying to change. You get change device, reset to defaults, that's going to be really useful later on. Uh, set parameters defaults, that's going to be really useful later on. Um, so if I want to, if I want to switch what's in this block, um, I can get all my stuff right here. So I selected a neural capture. There's overdrives, there's compressors, there's everything. Boom, I'm gonna, let's go with B3, because that's a cool sound. And that just is gonna sound pretty dry and pretty, um, it's gonna sound good, but it's a little bit uninspiring. It's gonna sound like this. <laughs> Uh, that sounds good. 
Um, let's uh, let's add some verb. So I believe that my reverb I've already I already for hall have like a, a default that loads up. But let's say I want to change this. Um, I can adjust parameters here, or I can reach over here and adjust parameters. That's very cool. But one of the coolest things I like about the Quad Cortex is I can set what the defaults are. So I ha I treat this like my go-to uh, hall reverb sound. So it sounds like this. <laughs> I dig that sound. If I am happy with the sound of this effect, and I want, I want to me, I want to always be able to recall just a basic hall reverb to start, and then I want to make changes. One of my favorite parameters in here is you can come in here and you can say set parameters as default. When I do that, anytime I bring up this hall reverb, it's going to bring up these settings. So if I have a favorite delay, favorite. Um, uh, uh, reverb kind of setting, I can set them as the default and boom, they're going to come up every time. That's really cool. Um, hopefully eventually we see um, actual presets where I can store like multiple hall presets and pull them up very quickly. Um, but that's what we get right now. So um, also I'm going to bring this into uh, stop mode just for working uh, for right now and we'll get into stop mode and scene mode uh, in a moment. But delays, let's bring in a tape delay and um, Uh, yeah, that's that's a good subdivision. I've got a dotted eighth. Uh, again, um, this is sort of my base that I have set here. If I want a little more delay, I can again come in here and uh, I can say set parameter as default and I'm always going to get this delay. And now I'm starting to build um, some sounds and it's going to it's going to sound like this. Let me let me add in a compressor here just so we can kind of get because I like playing with some compression. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like a little bit of that. So this jewel compressor is going to be a little bit hot. So I'm going to actually get some, some uh, sort of dual, dual band compression going here. I'm going to even out um, the output. All right, still a little bit hot. So I'm going to assign this to a switch. So I just hit assign to switch. It's going to tell me uh, to actually press the switch that I want to assign it to. I want to assign it to A, so I'm going to do that. And then boom, I've got it right there on A. So without it, and with the compressor on, I dig that. You could play around. You could darken it up a little bit. Um, you know, you could do some things. I, I don't mind that hot sound kind of that comes with a compressor. I don't mind that at all. Let me let me quickly assign these verbs uh, or this verb right here. Uh, let me just assign. I don't want that as B. I want that kind of at the end of my chain because it is at the end of my chain. Uh, so I just assign that to H. And now uh, this delay, I'm gonna assign to. Uh, you know what? Let me move. Let, let me move this over because that's how easy it is to move it over. I'm going to assign this one um, to F, and I'm going to add, yeah, let, let, let's, let's leave that there as F. Let's do that. I got a plan. Don't worry. I got a plan. Uh, let me move this capture over here. Let me add an overdrive so I have some options. Um, and uh, oh, this Brit Blue sounds good. The Governor sounds good. But I'm going to go with the Myth Drive. I'm going to go with the myth drive and I'm going to do the John Mayer setting. Uh, you know, look, the, the, John, the settings like this on a, on a, on a, uh, a clon, right? This is a clon. Um, you, you want a little boost to the highs. You want to bring that level down because it's a hot pedal and you want pretty low gain. And here's why. On a real circuit of a clon, uh, when you go all the way clean, you get all the way clean because it sends the overdrive signal to ground. Um, so um, this model might be slightly dirtier than, 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 than the clones I've played. That 
that sounds pretty good. I'm going to assign that to B. And uh, it's off now, and it sounds like this now. Let me level this out. I'm going to bring this down even more. Like, I'm going to really give it, like, almost nothing. Yeah, that sounds good. I dig that. And now we can do off. It's going to sound like this. It's going to sound a bit more aggressive. It's going to sound like this. So we've got a nice sounding little simple rig here. Four effects and, uh, and a mic'd up train wreck. Um, you know, this is this is no slouch. This represents, um, in, in the real world, you know, this would easily be, I mean, that train wreck's like 5K. So, uh, you know, this is, a, let's call this a 6K rig or something. You know, you could buy these other pedals for a thousand bucks. Um, you know, four, four effects, why not? Um, Let's talk about splitting the chain here and going to dual amps, one amp each side with different reverbs and stuff, uh, different different delays maybe. And uh, to, to split my signal chain, all I'm going to do is hold down um, on the actual signal chain there, and I'm going to get these splitter options. I'm going to select the splitter that kind of looks like the shape I want. So I want to split from this top signal and go to a second output. So I selected that one. You could select any of these, and then you can just drag it to where you want it. But so I'm going to bring this over because I want to split right after my overdrive. And then I'm going to bring my signal. It's going to split. Some of it's going to go this way. See, I've got my balance control right here. Um, and I've got type on balance. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be splitting my signal to go this way and down here to go this way. So uh, that's cool. Now all I need to do, I need to hit done. And I need to build the rest of this. But I need to make sure I change my outputs. So instead of a stereo out, I now want what's essentially two mono outs because I'm going to create s stereo by using double mono. I'm going to put different things on left and right, and that's going to create a stereo out. So um, I'm going out of one, output one on the top line, and output two on the second line. Now I'm going to drag in, um, let's add another, let's add um, an amp or something. What do you want to do? Let's look at some of these other neural captures that they give us. Um, Let's, how about US Prince, ooh, the US Prince 65-2. This will be a little cleaner than what we're dealing with. I like that. And then this is a direct um, sort of sound. So check this out. Okay, that probably distorted and clipped, and uh, you might have noticed on one side um, of what you're hearing, depending on how you're listening, um, it you know, it's, it doesn't have a cab. So you, you need to add a cab block in here. The cab block that they give us is really cool. Go to guitar and let's find something appropriate. Um, I don't necessarily need to use a 10 inch, but let's do that. What the heck? We got a 412 and a 110. And now we're going to sound like this. <laughs> sound, but it's totally dry on one side, um, and maybe I want to change this up a little bit. Um, let's first go into the cab block, and look what we get here. We get a dynamic 57. This is one of the coolest things. I, I just got to tell you this. Um, this is one of the, the coolest things about this thing. Um, you get dual mics here. You can drag them around. 
um, you know, towards the center is going to be brighter. Coming off is going to be less bright. Um, I'm going to do tone junkie positioning, which is kind of something like this. I don't use a, a ribbon 160, but but um, it sounds good. <laughs> Um, you can you can change these mics. There's a bunch in here. You know you can you can just toggle over a uh, ribbon ten. And you've got independent control. I would always recommend using something that says ribbon and something that says dynamic. That's gonna be nine times out of ten what you're used to hearing as a guitar player. If you're not that familiar with mics, that's kind of how I would go there. Um, yeah, let's leave this how it is, and uh, boom, done. So. Sounds good to me, but you can hear all that reverb and delay going to one side. So let's add another verb here. Um, let's find reverb and uh, let's go right here. Spring. Let's do a spring on this side since that's the only thing available to us. And um, now it's going to sound like this. <laughs> Okay, a little much for me. I don't know why this is at, at that high. Um, I'm gonna leave it down here and... All right, so we've got a nice, really stereo field kind of going on here and it sounds really good, but let me add a delay to this side so I don't, um, I don't just have delay on one side. And I'm gonna hit delay and uh-oh, uh-oh. Quad Cortex is not letting us add any more delays. Why is that? I'm not really quite sure why this is, but one of the things I know is that it can do a lot more than the effects that are up here. It just seems to be maxed out on this line for whatever reason. Um, I don't really quite understand why that is, but the workaround, if you ever run out of space on one single line, is I can actually come down here and continue this to row three. And now I have a signal chain here and I can change the out to be my out here. So now, I'm actually going here, my signal is, is continuing to the next row, and I, I can drag my reverb down, right? I, I can get rid of this one that, whoops. Let me, actually, this is a good, good option, a good opportunity to show you how to delete one of these. Just drag it up here, remove. But by, by bringing my reverb down here, I, I have all this extra processing power of this other row, and I can go on the delay, and I can, uh, I can pull up you know, a tape delay. Right, so now I have my other tape delay, and it's the, kind of the same settings as I had before. So I'm going to change, um, so I get a ping pong thing, and um, I, I'm going to, uh, well, I'm going to bring the feedback down a little bit, and uh, I'll bring the mix up just slightly, um, and we'll darken this slightly, give it a little more wow and flutter on one side, and boom. I will also I will assign this to here. Um, I'm going to leave both these verbs on. I don't feel the need to assign a second verb, but I certainly could. Now we've got verb and delay running to each side, and we've got a tap tempo. And look at that. I just tap that thing in, right? And I've got my tap tempo set up for global, because I want to be able to just, you know, tap something in, and any, any preset I go to, uh, we're good to go right there. So check this out now. <laughs> Dirt on here is going to go a long way. Let me turn on that uh, that clon thing.
good sounding stuff, man. Good sounding stuff. So um, pretty much this thing works without a hitch, um, you know, except for maybe sometimes you run into where you can't get any more effects um, on a line. I don't know if that's shared processing power between the top two lines and the bottom two lines. I really have no idea. Um, it might even be a glitch because it wasn't something I was noticing um, with beta releases that I was testing early on. So um, maybe, maybe that's a little glitch just on my unit right now or something. Um, but check it out. Stop mode, preset mode. Now I can, I can save these. So I'm in preset A, right? And this is what my thing looks like. This is what it all looks like. Um, if I go to preset B, whoops, <laughs> preset mode, duh, I just changed it. Hey, this brings up a really good point. What happens if you have unsaved work and you just lost everything? I just lost everything right now. You're, I mean, this is not planned. I just lost everything. Unless we have an undo button that takes us right back. And now our unsaved patch has been restored to us. Is that not a cool feature? That is a cool feature. Okay, I'm gonna do something smart right here. I'm gonna save this and uh, we get this nice little keyboard right here. I'm gonna save this as, um, uh, well, we'll just call it for the purposes here. We'll call this QC. Uh, 101 and um, I'm happy to make this available although I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like claim this is my best work or something like that this is QC 101 it'll be on uh, neural cloud uh, by the time uh, this video is up and you can fool around with this you can play around with this and um, yeah and you can grab that that capture right there uh, there's some other captures up there too uh, but anyway th this is a great rig and look I've got room to add other stuff, you know, I can come in here and get into modulation. Uh, I can come in here and I can, you know, that 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 capture block. Uh, what what are the options we get? You know, we only get guitar, bass, mid range, treble, right? If I were to switch one of these out, let's just just for purposes of an example, if I were to show you uh, an amplifier in a guitar, um, let's take a two two zero four. Okay, now this is gonna sound like, you know, uh, 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 kind of ridiculous, so I'm gonna bring this volume down. It's sounding hissy because I have no cab, but just to show you what the parameters are like, it's the full normal parameters you would get, right? So as long as you get, you're getting more parameters on an amp block like this, um, and I'm going to, um, remember this is how we delete it, we just drag it up here, remove. So I'm gonna restore my volume here, and, um, you know, what do I have with my with my captures? Well, I have gain, bass, middle, treble. We don't have a ton of, of parameters to switch up. So if I want, I can come in here and I can add in, um, you know, like a, uh, uh, where's what I'm looking for? I'm looking for an EQ. Is it right in front of me? Oh, here it is. EQ and um, I'll do another video on this um, because this EQ is crazy powerful, and I will teach you about guitar EQ. Uh, if some of you have seen some of my other videos, I've done this for other platforms. Um, uh, you know, I've done this for Kemper, and I've done this, uh, I think, for the Helix. Um, I will teach you the cheats to, um, to understand guitar EQ. You really have to understand guitar EQ on eight eight parameters, right? If you're, if you think in terms of bright and dark, that's one parameter. If you think in terms of bass, middle, treble, that's three. But um, I'll show you the eight things that sort of make up the guitar and that really make all the classic sounds. Anyway, that'll be another video. Uh, check out, ch look for that on the channel. This will be up there. Hey, I've been HW. Thanks so much for watching uh, Tone Junkie TV. Let me bypass this. And uh, you know what? Let me just get rid of this. And you can download this QC 101 thing. Um, you know, it's for you to just test out. It's it's nothing special. It's It took this long to build and you could build something just like it. You can experiment. Uh, enjoy. Um, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of sharing and stuff like this is, I mean, you know, everyone's going to make, you know, little rigs like this. And, uh, you know, the community will just sort of, you know, pick the tips and tricks of how to lay stuff out. Uh, and we'll, we'll all sort of settle into, you know, best practices of laying things out. There's going to be all sorts of tricks for freeing up DSP. Or you might not even need to, you know what I mean? Um, for whatever reason, I max something out there and I'm not really quite sure. I've been HW. Thanks so much. This has been QC101. And uh, let me know in the comments uh, if this was helpful and what you might want to see in the future. Um, like I said, I will get to that EQ video. HW, out. <laughs>